Hey everyone, I just want to make this quick. Um, I just noticed something that I never noticed before, and I've been looking at this video for years now. Like I said in a um, in the disclaimer in the last video I uploaded, some of these clips are like at least four or five years old. Um, they were in other videos or another video collection that I made in they all got blocked and so um, I kept trying to re-upload them they just kept getting blocked again but anyway this just goes to show though that you can look at something so many times and still not pick up on everything and but really quick though also before I get into that even just going to also mention that I am going to be working on a video to respond to a comment about Mystery Babylon being only the United States and not being anything else. I personally don't think that it's only just one thing. It is, um, I believe, in multiple levels of prophecy fulfillment. So, is it, you could say, is Mystery Babylon Vatican? Is it, um, the United States? Is it a church? Is it a spirit? And my answer would be yes. All of the above. So that's just how I look at it. Because to me, no one interpretation has completely fulfilled the prophecy and at least satisfactorily in my opinion. But this video is going to take, um, I'm going to try to get a lot of scripture together and, and and put a lot of my thoughts together properly so I don't know maybe it may take if I do it right it may take a week or two you know um, so this isn't going to be something like a, this isn't some kind of YouTube drama or anything like that nope I'm just going to explain myself explain um, what I think As I've already done some videos in the past actually about Babylon but I'm going to try to Update it, I guess. This is a good opportunity to update it. So back to the main uh, point of this video. When I had uploaded this for the fifth or sixth time, <laughs> that's probably being conservative, um, I received a comment on the video saying that some of the, the things that I showed in the video were a reach. And, and Okay, um, I took that to heart, and that was actually before the video ended up getting blocked again, strangely. But, okay, so I thought, well, maybe I did reach on some of it, and one of the areas where I thought I might have reached was in this Rihanna, Rihanna video, where she is, um, she's a scarlet woman, she has the red hair, and she is surrounded by flowers, she's in the field of flowers, and, um, and I said, in the, the previous video, I put it in text that she was um, possibly in the Garden of Eden, right? Now, maybe most people will look at it and they'll just say, no, she's just, she just has red hair and she's out, you know, among a bunch of flowers. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but, you know, I think my sense was telling me, or as I just say, my discernment was telling me that this was the Garden of Eden. She was the serpent. She was the scarlet woman. And so here's what I noticed, though, just now. I just, I don't know, I decided to watch the video again, and I saw, well, besides, the one, you know, she shows the one eye a lot, but let me see if I can stop it at the right time. Uh, oh, there you go. I never noticed the scarf before for some reason. But this time, I finally, it, I don't know, it just, I caught it. But, and immediately, okay, see, she's, she's throwing the scarf out, right? But just, I'm just paying attention to the scarf now because I never noticed it before. Now she has a scarf wrapped around her, right? And if she is in the Garden of Eden, 
what does the scarf call to mind as it's wrapped around her? Look at it. It is coiled around her arms. They don't put this stuff in the video by accident, but it's, it's really um, subtle. It was so subtle that I watched this video so many times I never noticed it before. But that is a, that is symbolic of a serpent. And when you see the woman with the serpent wrapped around her, that is Lilith. And Lilith is from the, um, what is it? Talmudic story about the Garden of Eden. So, it, it, I guess I, I will say that I think my discernment was right the first time and that I shouldn't have doubted that this was her being um, the serpent in the Garden of Eden. So, anyway, that's just weird how, how subtle things are that you can watch up to so many times and just never catch it all. But anyway, uh, thank you all for watching this video. Sorry. <laughs> I just feel like throwing it out there. So anyway, Jesus bless you. Then I get into. So um, starting in Zechariah chapter 5 verse 6, we read, And I said, what is it? Now this is Zechariah um, speaking to an angel. He's being shown a vision. And the angel says to him, This is an ephah that goes forth. And he said, Moreover, this is their resemblance through all the earth. And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead. And this is a woman that sitteth in the midst of the ephah. And he said, This is wickedness. And he cast it into the, into the midst of the ephah, and he cast the weight of lead upon the mouth thereof. That was Zechariah chapter 5, verse 6 through 8. Now, the thing that was most interesting to me that I stumbled across today was um, the word resemblance. When I looked it up, it turned out to be um, an eye. I looked it up on blueletterbible.com. And but before I show you that, I want to um, look at um, more parts of this in Zechariah 5. Also, I want to bring attention to the um, woman. I want you to keep in mind that this is a woman. And well, I guess since we're on this topic, also, the Bible does call it a woman and not um, something as a woman or like a woman. It just says woman. And uh, so far, I don't believe the, the 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 language in this vision, or if it could be called a vision, is symbolic at all. As we read in um, the previous the previous verses, well, we didn't read it, but. As you can read in the previous verses before this, um, Zechariah sees a flying scroll, and that is probably his best description of a missile. But since it's not symbolic, uh, I don't see any reason to try to make this allegorical or say it's a metaphor for something. Um, Zechariah sees a woman, and that's what it is. It's a woman. So he also says in this um, chapter and verse that this woman is wickedness. And another word for wickedness is evil and iniquity and um, well you can think of some <laughs> but moving on to resemblance getting into the definition of resemblance um, in blueletterbible.com is H586N and that is probably a primitive word an I literally or figuratively by analogy, a fountain, or as the eye of the landscape, affliction, outward appearance, before, think, best color. Um, so, I mean, for the most part, it's an eye. You, you see down here also in, at the, uh, the first definition of it is eye. And so, moving on to, um, but before that, uh, let's just focus on that. Okay, so, going back to Zechariah. Five, we see the angel says this is their resemblance so in other words this is their eye throughout all the earth or through all the earth so this woman is the is 
this evil woman, this wickedness, is the eye. So with, that makes you automatically think about the Illuminati, right? In the all-seeing eye. So this angel says that this woman is the eye. And so um, keep in mind that she is another word for wickedness is evil. Keep that in mind. So uh, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 22 through 23, we read, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness. 